we have seen that the conservation law or any conservation law actually arises from the invariance of the Hamiltonian of a system under a symmetry transformation. We will now prove this mathematically. The equation of motion possessed by a dynamical variable in quantum mechanics is the Heisenberg equation of motion given by d by dt of expectation a. See, in quantum mechanics, a dynamical variable is always the expectation value of the corresponding operator. So, the time variation of this dynamical variable, see, what I have rounded is the expectation value of the operator a. A is an operator. Quantum mechanics is the same as the dynamical variable corresponding to the operator. This is the fundamental postulate number 3. As long as quantum mechanics is concerned, corresponding to any, any dynamical variable, there exists a quantum mechanical operator. So that the expectation value of this operator corresponds to the physically observable quantity as long as quantum mechanics is concerned. For classical mechanics, the momentum, linear momentum is very physical observable. Quantum mechanics, the linear momentum is very physical observable. Linear momentum is corresponding to the operator theorem. That is linear momentum operator. And the eigenvalue is the physically observable quantity. The eigenvalue is the procedure and expectation value. So, one dynamical variable in the equation of motion is time derivative of this dynamical variable has now the meaning of taking the time derivative of the expectation value of the corresponding operator. That is equal to expectation do a by do t plus 1 by ih cross commutator ah. This is the fundamental Heisenberg equation of motion that you have derived in quantum dynamics and the same that you have used to prove one fundamental theorem in quantum mechanics referred to as the Ehren first theorem. Equation of motion in quantum mechanics and classical mechanics are identical provided we are able to replace the Poisson bracket of a variable with the Hamiltonian in classical mechanics by means of commutator bracket of the operator with the Hamiltonian divided by IH cross. Here also the finiteness of H cross will be relevant to make the bridge between uh, quantum mechanics and classical mechanics. When do by dot e, d by dt of expectation a equal to 0, that means e dynamical variable no matter on no illa. Upadana normally e dynamical variable or constant of motion on the para individual. By a or conserved quantity avanam in the dangle, so how we might d by dt of expectation a 0 avanam. That means the right side equal to 0. Near it in a time dependence, illa angle expectation do a by dot t and the alum zero on it already zero on. Then this has only one meaning this term is equal to zero. That means commutator h equal to zero. So, quantum mechanics is an observable constant of motion on angle. So, how we come item a observable in corresponding itula operator a h might commute to you. HMI to the operator commute to Jiga in the Parnatan Dangile AH is equal to HA in the mathematical meaning. That is the physical meaning. Another thing is the same eigenfunctions. A is the eigenfunctions. H is the eigenfunctions. That is the meaning of course. So, when the expectation a by dt is equal to 0, commutator a is equal to 0. That means the observable for the operator corresponding to the observable commute with h. But you have seen in module 1 that corresponding to every Hermitian operator, whenever an observable is a constant of motion then the operator corresponding to the observable will, will commute with h or conversely when an operator commute with h 
the dynamical variable associated with this operator will be a constant of motion this is the fundamental requirement for a quantity to be a constant of motion or a conserved quantity the operator corresponding to this observable must commute with h or conversely if an operator commute with h then the observable corresponding to this operator will be a constant of motion or the act of commutation of an operator with h invariably give rise to a conservation law edu or operator h umayitt commute cheyanundengile a operator umayitt associate cheyidittulla physical quantity conserved quantity aayirikkum adava eppozhukke ee or commutator zero avuno appozhellam or conservation law undu ennu automatically manasil orkkanayittu pattum now we will look into this different concept corresponding to every hermitian operator see an observable is always represented by a hermitian operator and corresponding to every hermitian operator a there exists a unitary operator unitary operator is an operator such that if u is unitary u dagger u will be equal to identity that means u dagger equal to u cos multiply this equation by u inverse then this becomes u dagger u into u inverse u into u inverse is identity an operator when multiplied with its inverse will be identity and on the right side also you know how to multiply it by u inverse identity into u inverse is u inverse so u dagger equal to u inverse for any hermitian operator a you can have a unitary operator say u of the form u equal to e raised to plus i epsilon a or conveniently let me take it say minus i epsilon a where a is a hermitian operator i is the imaginary square root of unity corresponding to uh, rotation in complex space by 90 degree epsilon is a small scalar parameter epsilon oru cheriya oru parameter scalar aanu vector alla ennaanu edukkunnathu when u has this form then this will be of course equal to u equal to e raised to minus x in the expansion no kiyamadi 1 minus i epsilon a plus i epsilon a whole square over 2 factorial minus i epsilon a whole cube over 3 factorial by 3 factorial etc since a is an extremely small parameter is a square term cube term etc will be extremely smaller now you consider u dagger u dagger is equal to then e raised to minus i epsilon a whole dagger that's equal to e raised to complex conjugate co transpose operation on the dagger appo minus i ennallathu plus i aayittu maaru epsilon dagger ne പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് മീനിങ് ഒന്നുമില്ല എപ്സിലോൺ ഒരു സ്കാലാർ ആണ് അപ്പോൾ എപ്സിലോൺ തന്നെ എ എ ഡാഗർ ആയിട്ട് മാറും ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ഡാഗർ ഇതിൽ എ മാത്രമേ ഓപ്പറേറ്റർ ആയിട്ടുള്ളൂ അതുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മൾ കോൺവേഴ്സ് ഓർഡർ പരിഗണിക്കേണ്ട ആവശ്യമില്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എ ബി ഓൾ ഡാഗർ ഈക്വൽ ടു ബി ഡാഗർ എ ഡാഗർ എന്ന റൂള് എടുക്കേണ്ടി വരും ആൻഡ് എ ഈസ് എ ഹെർമിഷൻ ഓപ്പറേറ്റർ സോ അതായത് എ ഡാഗർ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എ ദെൻ ദിസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇ റേസ് ടു ഐ എപ്സിലോൺ a dagger is a now this is u dagger once you multiply u and u dagger this is e raised to minus i epsilon a into e raised to plus i epsilon a that is e raised to zero which is equal to one so u is always unitary so that is in fact the connectivity between a hermitian operator and a unitary operator whenever there is a hermitian operator associated with it there is of course a unitary operator of the form e raised to i a small scalar quantity into this operator or e raised to minus i epsilon a if you take this as the format of the unitary operator this is the format of its dagger and if you take this as the unitary operator then this will be the format of its dagger then when commutator a is equal to 0 you can prove that commutator uh also will be equal to 0 
that proof is also a simple proof you can see it here when commute at ray h equal to 0 that means a h minus h a equal to 0 that means a h equal to h a now you consider u h u h is equal to e raise to minus i or plus i randa irnalu prove yam batum e raise to minus i yam e raise to minus i epsilon a i am expanding this term e raise to minus i epsilon a into a h that is equal to when epsilon is very small this can be taken as say 1 minus i epsilon a e raised to minus i epsilon a is now 1 minus i epsilon a plus i epsilon a all square by 2 factorial plus etc. That is the term power 2 is the term. Epsilon is the term. Then epsilon is the power 2 and 3 is the term. Then the answer is the answer is the denominator 2 factorial 3 factorial i code. Then the answer is the term. That is the neglect. If you neglect the term, this term is proof. That is valid. Of course, you will have the next term if you are interested in taking it. Say i epsilon a whole square. Then i square epsilon square a square over 2 factorial by 2 factorial into h <coughs> that's equal to if you have one term in bracket you have one term in bracket h minus i epsilon a h a prefact right on the way plus i square epsilon square epsilon square a square by 2 factorial h that is equal to h namal adhyatha term minus i epsilon a h is equal to h a since a and h are commuting but what a h in the line of agar am i to namuk h a in edda if an operator commute with another operator then they will commute with their powers also happy but a i square epsilon square a square h in an another a um h um commuting on angle a um a square um h um commuting a i rikim. Then h a square n a square h na namukhe hirda. Divided by 2 factorial. Ni h a common i to porter da kam. h a common i to porter da pe h a la it num prefactor i one net rende. h a common i porter da 1 minus i epsilon a plus i square epsilon square a square over 2 factorial. That is i epsilon a whole square whole square over 2 factorial in higher order terms in the angle other way to come plus etc that is equal to h what is this quantity in the bracket which is u so we have started from u h and is found to be equal to h u that means u and h are also commuting or we write u h equal to h u now we pre multiply this equation by u dagger u dagger kundu pre multiply jayunu apo left side li u dagger u h equal to u dagger h u ennu veru u dagger u is identity since u is a unitary operator that means h equal to u dagger h u and this exactly is a unitary transform of the operator h. Apo, this h in the unitary transform. Aan. A unitary transform h in equal height aan, 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 aan. h equal to u dagger h u. u dagger h u is a modification of h in the h. You can call it say h prime and you find that h equal to h prime for this operator h and its unitary transform are exactly identical that means the hamiltonian 
is invariant under this unitary transformation. This kind of transformations that leave the Hamiltonian invariant are called symmetry transformation. Apaitha ana symmetry transformation. Hamiltonian invariant ana angkili transformation symmetry transformation ana. 